teachers. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So, we are now live on our 23rd Halo Halo session. Okay. Alright, no? So, dami natin ngayon. 79ers. Okay, good evening sa lahat, no? Good evening, good evening sa lahat nating mga kababayan ngayon. All the way kahit saan lupalop man kayo ng bansa, magandang gabi po, mayong gabi. Uh, maupay na gabi sa inyong tanan, no, di ba? No, ano paano ba 'yun sabihin kapag waray? Di ba no? Good evening, greetings from Isabella according to Artemis Channel. Ayan, no? Magiging L Dami na magiging LPT ngayong gabi. Okay. No? Kasi we are preparing things mabilisan. We want to make it things clear at dapat you should be active. Okay? Record your scores tonight. We will be able to check how far you've come to know about our 23rd Halo Halo session. Prepare teachers. Ha. Huh. Okay? According to Manilin Virgin, Marajao nagabi search san, usatanan, ayan, di ba? According to April Labadiano, good evening po, sir, no? From Pismut Jelly, good evening, sir. Watching from Northern Samar, no? Maupay na gabi sa inyong tanan, ma'am Pismut Jelly. Ayan, no? Irene Digua, Digi, sabi niya, good evening, sir. Ayan, no? Shout out sa ating 118 viewers. Kaka-open ko pa lang. Dami na pala nag-aabang. <laughs> Sorry, ah. Medyo na late si Sir Chan tonight, no? Ayan, no? So sabi ni Riza Olyon, okay, good evening po, sir, from Toledo City, Cebu. Ayan, Dami na pala natin ngayon. From Pampanga, good evening po sa inyo lahat. Joji Muriales, team may ingay sana po kayo. Arat na, no? Nagsisimula. Good evening po from BGC Tagig, 15th batch from the Sisters of Mary School, Boys Town, Cebu. Ayan, no? Mapia Magabi, sir. Okay, no, Mapia Magabi, sir, no, from Maguindanao, no? Ayan. What's up Mindanao nga pala, no? What's up Mindanao? Sir Chan is currently at Cagayan de Oro City. Ayan, no? Maupay na gabi. Magandang gabi po. Mayong gabi sa inyong tanan. Currently, I am at um, Cagayan de Oro City. Uh, no? My first time to be in Mindanao. Okay, so napakagandang lugar pala ng Mindanao, no? Paglatag namin kanina, paglapag namin pag kanina, no? Uh, paglapag kanina ng aeroplano, sabi ko, uy, ito na pala yung Mindanao. Okay? Mindanao. Ayan, ah. So, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Okay. Uh, from Cats and Chill, good evening, Sir Chan. Kati-LE, kaya natin to. Okay. From Jonah Marie Biato, marahay na bangi, Sir Chan, watching from Bicol. Ayan, ah. 167 viewers tayo this evening. Kaka-open ko pa nga lang. Okay. So, we'll be waiting for the others, na. Vincent Esparagosa. Sir, doon lang ta, sir. From Bukidnon. Ayan, no? From Bukidnon. Okay? <coughs> ah, Verhen pala. Sorry. Mamanilin Verhen. Okay? Verhen. Ayan, no? Good evening, sir. From Romlon. Layo na pala ninyo narating, no? Okay? Uh, shout out from Cyril Pongos from Baliwag City, Bulacan. Ayan, no? Teachers. One week na lang. One week na lang, teachers. No? One week na lang po and I am very excited for it. Di ba? Uh, I am very excited para po magkakaroon ka tayo ng isang napakagandang regalo this Christmas. That is our license. Di ba? Oh, uh, ayan ha. So, teachers, one week na lang po. No? Tagdasan ko, sir. Hello po, Ma'am Janine de la Cruz. Ayan <laughs> Ayan ah. Good evening po Ma'am Janine de la Cruz. Ayan ah. From Valdino Jasmine. Sabi niya, good evening sir. Watching from Cabanatuan sir. Oh, di ba? Alright. No? From Cesar, John Rodri uh, Cesar Ayan Rodriguez. Good evening sir. Watching from Isulan Sultan Kudarat. Okay. Dami na pala natin ngayon. Ha? Dami na pala natin ngayon. We are now currently 193 watching in our live session this evening. Hey, teachers, our session tonight is the beginning of the final coaching. Meaning to say, ito po yung paunang gabi 
ng ating final coaching. No? Paunang gabi po ng ating final coaching po tonight. And the rest of it will start on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, hanggang sa Friday. Okay, so that will be our topic this evening. Now that will be our plan this evening. First 50 question teachers, again, first 50 question will all be about um, rationalization of choices. The next set of 50 questions will all be about the two choices category. And the, first, the last set of questions will be a no choice category. Again, the first set of 50 questions will be a uh, will be a rationalization of a four choice category. The second set of our session tonight will be an elimination, will be a two choice category. While the last session for this evening, Mabilisan, drill, definition of terms, no choice category. Okay, so I am excited to share with you kung anong mangyayari sa ating final coaching this Monday. Ayan, di ba? Sus, uy, magandang gabi po, di ba? Ayan ha, takloban. Um, uh, sa mga nag-ano po, no? sa mga nagpapa, nagtatanong po if this is a recorded, of course, after ko po mag-live, I'm gonna record or I'm gonna save this one to my channel right away. No? For the sake po na magkakaroon ko tayo ng mga pag-aaral, no? na magkaroon po tayo ng mga ano, no? ng mga um, uh, uh, sources for us to study. No? Good evening, Ma'am Shan Kalis. Ayan, no? Good evening po, Ma'am Shan Kalis. Di ba? Uh, okay. This will be uploaded. No? Uh, okay, this will be uploaded in our YouTube channel publicly. Ayan, di ba? Okay, the materials used here is intended for no, the material used here is intended for learning purposes. No copyright infringement intended for the said purpose. Let's proceed with this with our activity this evening. Let us always remember that we are in the most holy presence of our Almighty, for our brothers and sisters who are in Muslim communities, and for all those who belong to other religions, you may say your own prayer. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we praise your omnipotence. We praise, O Lord, your name. We glorify your name. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord, we thank you for the blessings that we receive each day, for the courage that you have given to us, for the perseverance, for the love that we continue to enjoy each day. Lord, we are asking for our part, for you are asking for pardon for our mistakes that we have committed every day. Lord, give us the courage and the strength to pursue our dreams in life. Give us the wisdom, the knowledge that we may be able to grasp, absorb all things that we'll be talking tonight and be used and use it for the incoming board exam this September 24, dear God. Lord, you know what is in our hearts. You know what we desire. Let your most holy will, O Lord, be done in accordance let your holy will, uh, let your holy will, O Lord, be done unto us. This we ask through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Lady of Guadalupe of Cebu, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ayan, Jane Ferrer, good evening from CBRC. Dumagete, ayan, di ba? Nakaka-excite naman po ang ating final coaching. Uh, Ma'am uh, ma po, ang halo-halo session I think was 22 was incorporated last Sunday po yun. Ha? Question number one. Ah, di ba? Teachers, question number one agad tayo para po no, ha? hindi tayo magkakaroon ng delay. No? Shout out sa ating 250 viewers tonight watching all over the Philippines. Di ba? Pakishare naman po and tell them that we are live right now para po magkakaroon tayo ng isang magandang kinabukasan sa ating TLE po. Question number one. Sir, kapag ang pag-uusapan po natin ay siyang tinatawag na fungal disease of plants, no? hold on, parang hindi to, hindi po ito. I think this is not the PowerPoint. 
that I am referring to. Hold on, let me switch off PowerPoint, teachers. Okay, hold on, let me switch off PowerPoint. Okay, hold on, hang ha. Let me switch off PowerPoints. Parang hindi to yung prepare ko eh. Iba yung na share, no? Iba yung na share. Sorry, no? Hindi dapat yun ang na share natin. Mm -hmm. Sabog na eh. Parang dami na kasing ginagawa. ba? Diba? <clears throat> eto na, eto na, eto na. No? Eto na yun. Okay. Ah. Eto na yun. Share ko na nga sa inyo. Okay, share screen. Eto na yun. Share with them. Alright. And then, of course, let's have the shop present review. Ayan. <laughs> Sir, napanood ko yata yun. Of course, hindi po yun. Hindi po yun yung sagot. Hindi yun yung sagot. Ah, ano ba yun? Ah, hindi ba yung tanong, ma'am, sa real, di ba? Yan na po yun. Okay? Yan na po yung ating tinatawag na 23rd Halo-Halo Session with Sir Chan. Di ba? <laughs> ah, no? So, eto na pala yung ating question of the night. Okay? First question of the night. Sir, these are external factors and or prerequisites for completing the action described in performance objectives. Again, we are talking here about external factors. Teachers' external factors might affect in the performance of the um, uh, skills of the student. Okay? Now, when we talk teachers about external factors, there are a lot of them. No? There are a lot of them. Criteria, condition, procedures, performance, criteria, checklist. However, the condition is for completing, no? Prerequisite for completing the action described in the performance objective. What should be your answer here? No? Ano ba yung pwede nyo natin mailagay bilang mga external factors? No? Ano ba yung pwede nyo mailagay kapag external factor yung pag-uusapan natin? Is it the, per the performance criteria checklist? No? Kasi kasi kapag performance criteria checklist teachers, these are tools. No? These are list of tools na kung saan this is used to assess the student whether the whether the action has been completed or not. 'Di ba? Kasi nga kapag sinasabi checklist, 'di ba? Sila po yung checklist po natin. Okay? Ah, teachers, when we talk about procedures, ito po yung step by step instructions. No, these are step by step instructions or method to follow kapag we are trying to execute a specific action. Siya po nating procedure. Condition. Oh, ito po yung mga external factors, circumstances, requirements that must be in place para po makamit po natin yung ating tinatawag na performance objectives. Ayan, ang tinatawag po dito na tamang sagot is letter B, conditions. Conditions. Again, these are all conditions. External factor, conditions. Kapag criteria, standard. Again, criteria, standards. Okay? Kapag conditions, external factor. Kapag procedure, step by step. Kapag performance test, uh, performance criteria checklist, yun po yung list of tools. List or tools to use la tools used to assess no the given objective sha po yon no ah, tools used to assess that is called criteria checklist the answer here is no other than letter b conditions ayan no shout out sa ating 322 viewers for tonight no ayan <clears throat> Good evening po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po sa pagtangkilik ng ating Sir Chance TLA Tambayan. Question number two. Sir, it contains a step-by-step -step procedure for performing tasks using a specific model of a product, tool, or equipment. Again, contains a specific step-by-step -step procedures for performing tasks using a specific model of a product, tool, or equipment. Now, eto po yung teachers. Tandaan niyo po. Kapag na-meet niyo na ang ganitong tanong, Tas alam nyo na yung sagot, ang gagawin nyo po dito is rationalize your rationalize with yourself kung bakit nga ba hindi tama si logbook, bakit nga ba hindi tama si journal, bakit nga ba hindi tama si references. 
Okay? Kapag logbook kasi teachers, ito po yung manual record keeping system. Ayan. No? Logbook manual record keeping system. Oh. <coughs> ano po yun doon, sir? It is used to document activities. So, diba? Logbooks po yun. No? Logbooks po yun. No? A manual record keeping system used to record activities or document activities. Logbook po ang sagot doon. Ano po yung pagkakaiba ni logbook at ng journal? Of course, it is journal po is the academic or professional publications, no? Ito po yung mga nagtataglay ng mga articles, research findings, no? In a specific field po natin. Sila po yung mga journals. Now, ano po yung references? When you talk about references, ito po yung citations, no? Tatanaw natin yung mga citations teachers ha. Huwag na wag po nating kakalimutan yung ating citation citations ng ating research. Again, wag na wag kalimutan ang mga citations ng research po natin. We have two types of citation. In the in-text citation, we have integral citation and the non-integral citation. No? Non-integral citation. Kapag integral citation teachers, that is according to Bandura. Kapag integral citation, eto po yun. Kapag according to Bandura, uh, according to Bandura, comma, uh, sorry, sorry, that's uh, a post, uh, I mean, all a parenthesis, 2021. Uh, ayan, and then comma, iyan na po yung ating tinatawag na integral citation. Now, kapag naman po, non-integral citation, eto na po yung si Bandura po na nasa unahan kapag integral, si non-integral, hindi na po yun. Bakit? Si Bandura po ay nasa pinakahuling statement and Bandura is now inside the parenthesis. Eto na po yung non-integral citation. Bandura 2021. No? Bandura 2021. No, APA formatting, 'di ba? APA formatting po 'yan. Okay? So that's called referencing po natin. However, it contains a step-by-step -step procedure, meaning to say, ano yung gagawin mo to complete a specific project? You are going to use the manufacturer's manual. You are going to use the manufacturer's manual. The answer there is delta. Again, the answer there is delta. Question number three. Sir, ito po yun, sir. Ano? Variation movement caused by daily rhythms of light and dark resulting from changes in the turgor of motor cells in the pole virus located at the base of each leaf. Sir, ang haba niyan, sir. <laughs> ang haba niyan, sir. Di namin alam. Ito, teachers, tandaan niyo po ito. Rhythm of light and darkness. Rhythm of light and dark. Ah, di ba? Kapag sinasabi natin, teachers, thermonasty, ito po yung temperature change that triggers the movement of the plant. Again, thermonasty, no? thermonasty ito po yung response in plants no? na kung saan there is a trigger in temperature change. Ayan. No? Of course, kapag thermonasty, ito na po yung bakit nga ba, sir, yung ibang bulaklak is sumasara kapag gabi. At bumubukas kapag umaga, simply because those are what do we call as phenomenon of thermonasty. Ah, di ba? Thermonasty po yun. Okay? Ah, ha? Ah, ayan. Next. <clears throat> yun po tinatawag nating seismonasty. Ano po yung seismonasty, sir? Kapag seismonasty po, teachers, ito po yung response in plants to mechanical stimuli. Ano ba yung tawag natin doon, sir? Say, for example, if itouch mo siya, okay? If nagkakaroon ng vibration, there is this quick movement or change in orientation of the plant. No? Sila po yung tinatawag seismonasty. Now, ano naman tayo, teachers, yung tinatawag nating circumnutation? Uh, circumnutation. Ano po yung circumnutation, sir? Ito po yung circular movement. No? Circular movement exhibited by the growing plants. Usually, ito po yung nagkakaroon ng gumagapang. Ganon mga plants na yon. Bakit gumagapang yan sila, sir? Ganon. Ito po yung mga circumnutation. 
Okay? Circumutations po yun sila. Now, here, we are talking about the light and darkness resulting to the changes in the turgor of motor cells. Oh, ayan. Sir, bakit hindi po siya, sir, thermonasty? Because temperature change. Okay? Sorry, teachers. Kanina sabi ko kayo na is the light and dark, but it's not thermonasty. Thermonasty is the hotness and coldness in temperatures pala. Sorry. Thermo means hot. Okay, temperature change. But talk about the sunlight, the daytime and the nighttime. It is nictinasty. Okay, it's nictinasty. My apology kanina. Sabi ko sa kanina, thermonasty is the response between the, I don't know, di ba? Morning at sa kagabi. You know, it's my apology. It should be the nictinasty. Because thermonasty teachers, the temperature change po yun. No? Temperatura. No? Bakit nga ba yung ibang plan kapag sunny season, kapag sunny No, masayang-masaya yung mga mukha ng mga flowers. Pero kapag ano naman kapag umuulan or parang ano, no, parang malungkot yung mga flowers natin, sir. Because there's those thermonasty. Ayun ha. Uh, therefore the answer here is <clears throat> Therefore the answer here is uh, letter A, nictinasty. Okay? That is nictinasty. Number four. Okay, the bending or curvature of an organ caused by differential growth when the adaxial or morphological lower side of an organ grows more rapidly than the abaxial or the morphological lower side of the organ. If we're going to talk about this one, we can figure out about a stem in a plant. No? Yung mga ganun-ganun nga bagay na yon. bakit yung ibang mga leaf umupunta ng ganun? Yung ibang leaf napaka ganun, no? napaka... Oh. Yung bang leaf, parang, parang ano na, sir, parang nag, nag-bend na po yun sila, sir. No? Why is it that the uppermost part is gumaganon yung mga leaf nila? While yung nasa baba naman, sir, is pababa talaga ng pababa. What is the reason for that one? No? Ah, what is the reason for that one? Okay? Teachers, when we talk about hyponasty, Okay? When we talk about hyponasty, the upper surface of leaves on other plant organs curve downwards. Oh, ayan. Ito ha, curvature caused by the differential growth. Okay? Morphological, meaning to say external, lower side of an organ. Oh, di ba? Oh, ayan. Sir, kapag sigmonasty, kapag sigmonasty, sir, no? the plant movement in uh, evolves, no? Example teachers is the mimosa pudica. Ano yung mimosa pudica? Ito yung the makahiya. No? Ito po yung the makahiya na kung saan they are a sigmonasty type of plant. Uh, they produce they they um uh, uh, they exhibit no um uh, sigmonastic movement. Bakit? If you're going to touch if there is a physical contact, they're automatically closing their leaves, no? There is plants response, the closure of the leaves of the plant because they possess sigmonastic okay sigmonastic characteristics eto sir epinasty kapag epinasty teacher upper side of leaves or other organs no curved downwards or outwards eto na po yun kanina okay yun na po yung sagot kanina teachers the answer there is epinasty no ayan the answer here is a penasty. Letter C po ito. Because thermonasty, as they say again, influenced by temperature change. That is called a thermonasty. But the question talks about the morphologi morphological structure, curves downward, that is called a penasty. Number five. The organ movement such that the axis of the organ comes to lie at the right angles the direction of the gravitational field. Gravitational field. Kung wala kang alam dyan, hanapin mo lang yung may word na gravitational. Gravitation. Oh, di ba? Asan dyan? Asan dyan? Ha? Asan dyan yung may word na gravitational field? The answer is, ayan, kapag helio, helio means sunlight. Ito yung, tinat ito yung sa ano? No? Ito yung kaisan flower minsan. 
No, nangyayon not, not just minsan, but most of the time. Bakit? They respond. They react. They respond to the movement of the sunlight. That's heliotropism. Heliotropism. Okay? Kapag plagiotropism, hindi po siya nag exist Or kung sa bagay dito, plagiotropism is not literally relevant to the, que to the question. Okay? Kapag di, uh, no, di, di agravitropism, uh, ito po yun. Orients itself at the right angles to the direction of the gravity. Ito, oh, gravitational field. Positive tropism or geotropism. Teachers, when we talk about positive geotropism, it also talks about positive gravitism. What do we mean by positive gravitism? When we speak about positive gravitism, ito po yung response to gravity. Ha? Again, geotropism, gravitypism, or gravitism is a response of plant towards gravity. Yung may mga plant na pa-downward, sila po yung tinatawag nating positive geotropism. Yung mga plants na pataas, sila po yung negative geotropism. Oops, sir, bakit baliktad? Bakit baliktad? Simply because the question talks about gravity. When we talk about positive, it goes towards. Saan napunta, saan napunta yung gravity? Di ba downward? Oh, di ba? Yung mga plants, napunta downward, may mga plants talaga, no? that when they grow, they tend to bend downward. They go to the gravity that is called positive geotropism. Now, when plants grow higher than as they expected, they are, go, they are called negative geotropism because baliktad po sila, no? instead of sa lupa sila punta, sa ibabaw sila papunta. That is called negative geotropism. Uh, no? <laughs> uh, ito, teachers, context clue daw. Gravitational field, gravity. Heliotropism, helio, sunlight. Movement of sunlight. No? Geotropism. Geo means earth. Tropism movement po natin. No? Kapag ang plant going downward, that is positive geotropism. Kapag ang plant going upward, that is negative geotropism. Mabilis ba teachers? Medyo mabilis po kasi ito po yung ating tag at ng ating gagawin by Monday. Mabilis po siya because we are trying to aim one 200 questions per night. We are trying, ha? trying to aim 200 questions per night. Ah, ayan. Okay? So, kailangan po natin itong mahabol. No? Because again, teachers, sa pagkakaintindi ko po ng ating final coaching, hindi po siya, ano, hindi po siya nag-aaral. We are trying already to do this, what we call as quick review. No? Final na nga siya. No? Quick review na lang po yun. Diba? Okay. Sino pa dito yung may score na 5 over 5? Sir, 1 over 5 pa lang talaga, sir. <laughs> okay. 1 over 5 pa talaga yung score ko, sir. Anyway, it's okay. No? Habang papalapit ang 1 week, pagbutihan ninyo na makakapa, mak makapaghabol pa kayo ng ating mga ng ating pagre-review para po magkakaroon pa tayo ng maraming sources po. Question number six. Sir, eto, oh, growth rates of individuals of an organ and organism. No? Relationship between the growth rate. Teachers, kung growth rate, dalawang factor to. The root and the stem. No? Growth rate po ang tawag natin dyan. No? Ito po yung ratio ng root versus the stem. However, wala pong stem dito, sir. They used to replace shoot. Therefore, the answer here is root to shoot ratio. Ito po yung growth rate po natin. Oh, ayan. Ha? Growth rate po natin, yan po yung root to shoot or shoot to root ratio. Dapat daw, sir, yung isang root ng ground ay dapat nagkakaroon siya ng corresponding height ng isang shoot. No? Ayan, that's shoot to root or root to shoot ratio. No? Sir, now, <clears throat> ah, alin dito yung nag... Eto ha? Teachers, what about harvest index? 
Ano po yung harvest index teacher teachers? Ito po yung measures no in the agriculture to assess ito po yung efficiency of crops. Di ba index measurement? Index measurement no? Ayan po, that is index measurement. Okay, no? Ayan. Allometry, ano, di ba? Ito po yung mga allometry. How, no? How the parts react with each other or interact with each other. Ito po yung allometry. While symmetry, of course, the arrangement or balance of plants. Symmetry, balance of plants. No? Oh, ayan ha? No, oh, ayan. So symmetry, ito po yung mga balance of plant growth po natin. The answer here is root to root ratio. Next, number, uh, no, next, number seven. The ratio of root dry weight to shoot, dry weight, no? Ito, ratio of root dry weight to shoot, no? Oh, ano po yung tawag natin dyan? Root dry weight to shoot dry weight. Ano tawag dyan? Sir, question number six. Okay? Question number six is always related to question number seven. Still the same, sir. Root to shoot pa rin yan, sir. Ah, sir, bakit hindi po root to shoot sa dito, sir? Bakit shoot to root? Pareho lang po yun. However, the tendency here is yung tanong kasi is root to shoot. Sh root to shoot ratio. No? Tatanong po natin teachers that in case of the tinatanong kayo that what is the root to shoot ratio in every one root or in every one um, unit of root dapat equivalent po siya sa shoot na 5 or 6. Ayan. Say for example, ang root mo dito is um, ano, ang root mo dito is uh, pagparagay natin na ano na 1 gram, dapat ang shoot mo is 5 grams. Ito po yung root dry weight to shoot dry weight. Ito po yung root shoot ratio po natin. Ha? Root shoot ratio po natin. Question number 8. What is the first information entered into the table of specifications? Ano po yung pinakaunang information na nalagay natin sa table of specifications? Ito po yung tatanan natin. It is the always talk about objectives. Objectives. Okay? The total number or the first information to be entered into the table of specification is the objectives. Kapag TOS, this is the blueprint of the exam. Again, TOS, siya po yung blueprint of the exam. Okay, question number nine. Question number nine, sir. It is a belief that forms one of the basis for the research. Oy, belief. Belief, paniniwala. You try to assume. You try to assume. Therefore, kapag assume ang kinakailangan mo dito, it's not about significance of the study. Because teachers, kapag significance of the study ang sagot mo, the question should be, it explains bakit mahalaga ang research na yan or ano po ba yung impact ng research na yan sa community. Okay? What is the relevance of that research no? in your community, in your field? Bakit mo siya ginawa? That is called significance of the research, of the study. Now, kapag scope of the research teachers, ito po yung the boundaries and what should be excluded. Tatanda niyo po teachers, kapag scope and, scope and limitations, kung hasaan lang talaga yung hangganan ng ating research. Siya po yung scope and limitation of the research. Kapag statement of the problem, ito po yung description. Again, statement of the problem, description ng specific issue. No? Ayan, no? ito yung SOP po natin. Okay? Ito po yung SOP po natin. The answer here is research assumptions. The answer there is research assumptions. Belief or assumption. Delta. Very good. Number 10. <clears throat> Phenotype. Uy, phenotype. Sa science pa rin to. No? This is agriculture. What does phenotype mean? Kapag pheno, observable physical trait. Physical trait. Ayan, kapag pheno, that is physical trait. Oh, no? Physical trait po yun. Alin ba dyan nagkakaroon ng physical trait? Therefore, the answer here 
is no other than letter B. The physical appearance of the plant. No? The physical appearance of the plant is no other than the phenotype. The answer there is bravo. Question number 11. Mm. Question 11 po tayo. Sa mga hindi po nakakapag, ano, nakapag, uh, nakastart na, umabol na lang po kayo. Okay? Number 11. Pakilagyan na lang po ng numbers, ha? Para po hindi po tayo magkakalayot po dito. Teachers, it is aligned from the oil pump to the oil stored in the oil pan. Usually contains a filter screen which is submerged in the oil at all times. Anong tawag din dito? These are what do we call as? Ito po yung pictures nila. Ah, if I'm gonna enlarge this one, ito po yung oil pan, sir. Andito po yung oil pan. No? Oil pan, si oil drain plug. Yan po yun. Yung linya po dyan na nakataas, nakakonect mula sa oil pan patungo po sa oil strainer is we call that one as? Ano po yung tawag natin dyan? Ah, my 11D oil pressure relief valve daw, sabi nila. Teachers, kapag oil pressure relief valve, it controls the oil pressure. Nag-control ba siya? Hindi. Linya lang po ang kanyang sabi. Kapag oil galleries, ito po yung daanan ng mga oil ng isang makina. Again, oil galleries, ito po yung daanan ng mga oils ng, mga, ng isang makina. No? Ah, uh, Next, no? oil cooler. Kapag oil cooler po, teachers, sila po yung responsible. A part of the vehicle is responsible for cooling the oil for easier. Ah, uh, ayan. No? For easier rotation, dapat nag-cool na yung oil po natin. The answer here is oil pump pickup. Ito po yung side na dito. Okay? The oil pump pickup tube. The oil pickup tube. Okay, the answer 11 is letter C. Ayan, ah. the answer is letter C. Question number 11, number 12. Sir, a rice floret has how many answers? Ah, no? Ang rice floret daw, how many answers? Ano po ba yung floret, sir? No? Ano po ba yung floret? Ang floret po, ito po yung tiny grass flower. No? Wala po siyang petals. However, Meron po siyang male and female no, na parts covered by bracts. Ito po yun. Let me enlarge this one. Ito po yung spikelet. Ito po yung floret. Ayan. Ha? O, ayan. Si spikelet teachers, hindi pa talaga siya. No? It holds many florets. Kapag bubukas po si spikelet, da marami pong floret na lalabas. Kapag bubuksan mo naman si floret, marami pong pestils and stamens na lalabas. Again, ang nauna po is si spikelet. Ganito yon. Pag bukas po niyan, meron siyang tinatawag nating floret. Si floret naman na ganito, bubuksan mo yan. Pag bukas niyan, meron na po yung covering ng ating pestils and stamens. Ito na po yun natin. The question talks about how many, how many anthers does a rice floret contain? There you go. Bilangin si statement, ilan yung rice natin? That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Hanapin yung sagot na letter 6. Anthers, florets, rice floret, anim po yun, bawat flower po natin. The answer there is 6. Ah, dami na nakasagot. Shout out to 413 viewers this evening. Now, sir, if we are to grow commercially Lakatan and Latundan in Isabela, the special practice that is necessary is ano daw? Pruning. Pruning ba yun? Puputulan mo ba natin yun? No? Ano ba yung tuksiing? Ano yung tuksiing, sir? No? Oh, ano yung tapping? Ano yung propping? Ito po yung teacher sa tanan po natin yan. Ah, ayan. Saging. Anong tawag natin, sir? Yung sa may parang ano, sir? Parang may mga braces sa siya, sir. No? Parang may mga braces po siya. No? May mga brace po. Tinan nyo dyan. Diba? Para siya may mga scaffold o kumbaga helpers na para hindi mo matumba, matumba yung ating saging. Anong tawag sa kanila? Are they tapping? Tapping ba ng tawag sa kanila? 
or propping or tuxing. Eto pa, isa pa to. Anong tawag dito? No? Eto po yun. Eto po yung tinatawag nating the process in abaca making. Eto po yung tuxing. Ayan. Yan po yung tuxing po natin. Ha? Now, this one is what do we call as eto yun. No? Eto. Anong tawag dito, sir? It's all about tapping. No? Ayan, no? Tapping po yun sila. Now, the tendency here is that the answer here is propping. Again, the answer here is propping. Okay? The answer there is propping. Okay. <clears throat> Next. When a teacher asks the consistency of the material taken from the other internet with other available resources or materials, ano ang nakukonsider ni teacher natin doon? When a teacher asks, no? When a teacher asks the consistency of material taken from the internet with other available material, kapag isang material agrees with another material, the teacher is concerned with is it relevance or accuracy? The answer there is accuracy. The teacher is concerned about the accuracy of the material used. 14 is bravo. 14 is bravo. Number 15. What is implied about the place of our country in technology? Oy, no. What is implied daw about the place of our country in technology? Saan nga ba napabilang yung ating bansa kapag teknolohiya ang ating pag-uusapan? No? Saan ba napabilang ang ating bansa kapag teknolohiya ang pinag-usapan? Sir, iba yung mukha ng questions mo ngayon. Ah. No? Bakit iba yung mukha ng questions mo ngayon, sir? Of course, we are talking about the new TOS. No? Yung mga last pag-concepts po, teachers, na-discuss na po yun. No? Might as well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to um, to add some last pag concept sa atin pong um, final coaching on Monday next week. No? The answer, what's the answer here? Teachers, is it necessary that we are going to learn from Singapore? No. Diba? It's not necessary that we should learn from Singapore. Kaya nga lang yung Cebu City, di ba? Singa Sing Cebu City, a Singapore-like city. No? Pero we're talking about technology. Filipinos must learn more from Singapore. Or Filipinos are abreast. Ano yung abreast, sir? Up to date, di ba? Up to date in the current field of information of technology. Or we are behind at computers. Are you sure that we are behind at computers? Are we really behind at computers? Okay? Ah. Ah, di ba? Ah. Okay? Ano po yung sagot dito? Is it letter A, letter B, or letter C? Di ba? Are we really behind in computers? The answer is no. Because marami po tayong mga... Oh, kasi kapag we are behind at computers, hindi po ganun ka-strong yung ating defense. No? If we are behind computers, hindi po tayo magkakaroon ng mga magigiting na mga Filipino researchers, Filipino mga infor uh, technologists. No? Ah, nega kasi sir, tingin ko sa technology ng Pinas. No? However, teachers, ah, makapangyarihang word, abreast. Abreast, up to date. Ah, ayan. Ah, maybe... For this one teachers, in my opinion and based on my research, may at be hindi tayo par with any country. Because po dito any country. Malayo po tayo sa mga, yung sa mga country na yung internet nila is about 1 terabyte. No? Mga terabytes na yung internet nila. Malayo po tayo doon. However, however, we are abreast in IT. We are in the current field in information technology. No? The answer here, teachers, is letter C. No? I am not going to consider letter A here. Sir, bakit, sir? At par with any country. 
Katan po natin dito teachers no? that it should be we are up to date in the field of information technology. Pero minsan we cannot uh, sometimes our country has a lower no a lower version of um technology in compare to other countries. Di ba? Yan na po yun eh. Yan na po yun. Kaya nga minsan sa Pilipinas, naghahanap tayo ng ibang bansa to sponsor research or to, 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 to sponsor those things because we cannot be at par with any other country or with all the countries. Some of the countries nga lang po. No? Therefore, the answer here is letter C. Ayan. Ha? The answer is abreast in IT. I will stand for letter C here. Abreast means to say up to date or current. Okay, we are on current with IT. Next question number 16. Who is the first computer programmer? Okay, who is the first computer programmer? Who is the first computer programmer? Huh? Teachers, who is the first computer programmer? Oi. No? Who is the first computer programmer? Sagot, teachers. Inaantay ko ng inyong sagot. Sa mga sumagot ng letter A, sabihan niyo ang sarili niyo. Si Charles Babbage po ay the father of the computer. Again, sabihan niyo po ang sarili niyo. No? Sabihan niyo po sarili niyo. Si Charles Babbage self ay siya po yung father of computer, hindi po siya ang first computer programmer. Ayan, no? Hindi po siya ang first computer programmer. Self, si George Atanasov, siya po yung nag-introduce ng ABC computer. Okay? The Atanasov Berry Computer. No? O, oh, si Atanasov very computer. This is the earliest electronic digital computer. Ayan, no? The earliest electronic digital computer is a Tanosoft Berry computer. Now, si Lady Augusta Byron is termed as the first computer programmer. Babae po siya. Okay? Babae po si Lady. Kaya nga, Sir Lady, di ba? Ah, sino po si Blaise Pascal? Siya po yung inventor ng Pascaline. Ayan, no? Siya po yung inventor ng mechanical calculator na Pascaline. However, the answer here is Lady Ada Augusta Byron. The answer is Charlie. Shout out sa ating 435 viewers this evening. Question number 17. What is the meaning of the acronym LCD? Again, what is the meaning of the acronym LCD? Is it a light chemical display or laser circuit device or liquid crystal display or least common denominator? Sir, pwede po si letter C, pwede po si letter D, pero we are talking about TLE po, kaya ligwak agad si letter C. Na? Teachers, kapag LCD po, no, ito po yung less power consumption versus the CRT. Ano ulit yung kahulugan ng CRT teachers? Ano ulit yung kahulugan ng CRT po natin? Sila po yung cathode ray tube, di ba? Ah, oh, cathode ray tube. Okay? Ah. Oh. Yes po, sa Google po talaga, no, Sir Francis, is si Ada Lovelace ah uh, ano si Ada Lovelace Byron no no siya talaga siya talaga yung uh, the first computer programmer no the first computer programmer is attributed to ah uh, ayan no? lady Ada Augusta Byron siya po yung the first lady programmer ayan ha uh, iklaro ko lang po muna para hindi po kayo malilito okay now going back to the question na number 17 okay Sino po CRT? That is cathode ray tube. Again, CRT means cathode ray tube. Ah, siya po yung cathode ray tube po na sinasabi nila. No? However, along the way, alam mo yung TV or yung monitor na may ganito? Ito yung monitor nyo, di ba? Tapos may ganito mukha sa, sa likuran. Yung, may, may ganito. O, oh, ayan, di ba? Yung parang may, ano, may baluktot dun sa, ano, sa likuran. 
siya po yung tinatawag nating CRT. However, at this time, hindi po siya energy efficient. Bakit po? Nagkakaroon po siya ng more power consumption compared to LCD. Kaya nga tinanggal si CRT, pinalit si LCD because LCD is an energy efficient display monitor. At the same time, it is thin and lightweight and has higher resolution. The answer here is the liquid crystal display, letter D. The answer there is letter D. Okay, next question number 18. It is a device that mixes air and fuel for internal combustion engines in the proper air-fuel ratio for combustion. Sir, saan nga ba kinuha ito, sir? Tatandaan niyo po, teachers, yung tinatawag nating stoichiometric. Stoichio. According to stoichiometric stoichiometric ratio, no? Stoichiometric ratio, sabi niya dito, ang isang perfect combustion ay nagtataglay ng 14.7 grams of air is to 1 gram of fuel. Again, bawat 14.7 grams ng air dapat equivalent po yan ng 1 gram of fuel for you to produce a perfect fuel combustion ratio. Sabi niya doon. Now, ang tanong hindi po siya sa stoichiometric. Sabi po doon, anong device ang nagmix ng air and fuel? What device is used to mix the air and fuel? Hindi po siya injection pump. Kasi injection pump is used to pump fuels inside, no? Injectors, no? Sila po yung daanan. But the question here is that mixes the air and fuel. It's not about A, it's not about letter B, not letter C, and not letter D. The answer here is carburador. Again, carburador. Ano po yung mukha niyan, sir? Ito po yung mukha niyan. No? The answer there is carburetor. Again, carburetor. Sir, bakit po ba, sir, hindi siya fuel filter? Because fuel filter used to filter the fuel against dust, against against mga mga elements or mga dusty particles. Sila po yung fuel filter po natin. Ha? Therefore, the answer there is not a fuel filter, nor an injector, nor an injection pump, carburetor. Carburetor mixes air and fuel for internal combustion engine. Number 19, which the following is not an internet search engine. But, sir, kapag sinasabi natin search engine, no? Oh, di ba? Oh, ano ba yung mga search engine po natin, sir? No? They are, they are what do we call as platforms. Platforms po yun sila para po makahanap tayo ng information sa iba't ibang bahagi ng internet. Sila po yung tinatawag na search engine. At ang hindi po search engine dito is only letter B. Windows is not an example of a search engine because Windows is an example of an operating system. Again, Windows is not a search engine. No? Windows is an operating system. Very good. Dami nagtama. Teachers, let's proceed with question number 20. Question number 20, ito po yung unang tanong. Which application program provides users with a means to organize and present text, numbers, graph, sound, and visual images? Ano pong tawag natin dyan? No? Okay. Which application program provides users with a means to organize and present Information through the use of text, numbers, graphs, sounds, and visual images. The answer there is, pag nagkamali pa kayo nito, ay naku, ah. no, what's the answer here? What's the answer here? Very good. It's the PowerPoint presentation. Again, it's the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, kapag publisher teachers, it's all about layout and designs. Again, desktop publishing, layout and design. Example, 
brochure, catalog, newspaper, no? Sila po yung ating tinatawag na publishers. Ah, sir, kapag spreadsheet naman, sir, calculation, data analysis and data organization. Again, kapag spreadsheet, analysis, data calculation, data organization. Okay? No, kapag word processing, again, word processing, sila po yung creating, editing, formatting text documents. Okay? Text document, formatting text document, sila po yung word processing. The answer here is letter A. Number 21. Which of the following is an example of an operating system? Which of the following is an example of an operating system? Huh? Which of the following is an example of an operating system? Mm. What's the answer here? Huh? Operating system, very good. The answer is, the answer is Windows XP. Firefox, Avira, and Notepad are not related to operating system. Question number 22. Firefox is a web browser. Avira is an antivirus software. And Notepad is a basic text editor that comes with Windows. Okay. Question number 22. In HTTPs, Facebook.com is an example of what? HTTPs slash Facebook.com is an example of? Dapat, sir, my triple W pa yan dyan, sir. No? Dapat, sir, may triple W dyan pa yan. No? HTTPs.Facebook or triple W.Facebook.com is an example of? Very good. Sila po yung tinatawag natin. Naku. Bakit kayo sumagot ng HTML? My God, my goodness. Bakit po sumagot ng HTML? Aloy. No? They are called URL. Okay? URL stands for the Uniform Resource Locator. Ayan, no? It is used to access the resources on the internet. The answer there is Uniform Resource Locator. Next question tayo. Question, uh, di ba? Ayan, ha? Huh? Kapag protocol teachers, ito lang po yung mga protocols po natin. The hypertext, di ba? Hypertext. Ano po, yung, ano po yung HTTP natin? Hypertext transfer protocols. Ayan, di ba? Hypertext transfer protocol, no? Sino po si HTML, sir? Kapag HTML po, sir, sila po yung... Ano po yung HTML nga ulit? It's the hypertext markup language. Siya po yung language in making, oh, di ba? Oh, di ba? Ito po yung designing a web, displays in a web browsers po natin. No? Of course, kapag IP address, sila po yung numerical labels, no? Assigned to each computer network. IP address, numerical label. HTML, the language, the protocol, sila po yung mga Oh, ayan, no? The part, the HTTP, no? B eh, before the, ano po natin. Next. Gene recombination occur as a result of, no? Ang gene recombination daw ay nag yan as a result of, ano? Okay, bakit daw nag yung ating genes? Okay, gene recombination. Bakit daw nagre-recombine yung ating genes? Gene recombination, anong sagot dito? Ha? Teachers, again, genes. Bakit nga ba nag-combine yung genes? Saan nga ba galing yan? Of course, talaga namang sexual reproduction. Di ba? That is sexual reproduction. Nagkakaroon ng gene no exchange, gene combination because of sexual reproduction. 
teachers, fish protein concentrate with high fat content is susceptible to. Ito, yung kapag fish protein concentrates daw with high fat content, ano po ang kanyang kadalasang mangyayari? Kapag ang fish protein concentrates with high fat content, kapag daw maraming fat content ang fish protein, nagkakaroon ito ng rancidity. Ayan. The answer there is rancidity. O, oh, di ba? Okay, next. Ko tayo. Okay. 25. Sir, live or smelly shellfish, no? Uh, live or smelly shells can be dumped or soaked in a 50% solution. Ano pong tawag natin dito? No? Kapag daw yung live or smelly shells can be soaked in a 50% solution of chlorine. No? Lalo nga na po to remove their bad odors from the shell. Ito po yun. No? Oh, ito po yun. What's the answer? Is it freezing or rotting out? Therefore, that, you know, hindi po yun, sir. Wala po yung kasali doon. Freezing solution of chlorine. Chlorine is a bleaching agent. Therefore, the answer here is bleaching. 25 is bleaching. Ha? 25 is Charlie. 26. Ayan. Ay, nako. Sinulat lahat. Di ba? Sinulat lahat. Blank is caused by the algal blooms of the dinoflagellates Pycodiscus brevi. No? Symptoms are similar to PSP except that paralysis does not take place and it is rarely fatal. What's the answer there? No? Ah. Again, caused by algal blooms of the dinoflagellate Pycodiscus brevi. No? Ito po sir, oh. symptoms of sir is the Oh, no? Similar to PSP or the paralytic shell poisoning. Again, PSP stands for paralytic shell poisoning. No? Oh, what's the answer here? Algal bloom daw, sir. No? Algal bloom daw, sir. It's the toxication or the poisoning of fish. The answer there is neurotic shellfish. Shellfish poisoning. Okay? Neurotic shellfish. Symptoms po yan. Symptoms are similar. No, similar to the uh, the answer there is neurotic shellfish poisoning. Ano po yung diarrheic shellfish poisoning? Ito, 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 ito na ngayon, no? Uh, diarrheic shellfish poisoning, okay? Ito po yung tinatawag natin, ano, no? Caused by the dinoflagellates, no? The dinopsis SPP, no? Ayan. Okay, ano po yung sinuna, sir? Of course, the gastrointestinal, diarrhea, and the vomiting. Okay, that is called neurotic shellfish poisoning number 27 organisms that food that live on or on the host okay ba? organisms that lives on or in a host organism and gets food at the expense of the host anong tawag doon kapag palagi kang kumukuha humuhugot ng lakas no sa iyong pinapatungan siya po tawag nating parasites again Parasites po yun. No? Yung kumukuha ng lakas mismo sa host, nangunguha ng lakas sa host, the answer there is parasitism. Parasites. No? Symbiotic relationship, parasitism. Anong tawag doon sa kumukuha ng pagkain mula sa host? Parasite. Anong tawag doon sa kinukuha na ng pagkain ng mga parasite? Host po yun sila. ba? Okay. Next, question number 28. A step in surimi production where the remaining scales, connected tissues, and small bones are being removed. Uy, sir, surimi. Ang sarap nito. Kita nyo yan. ba? Masarap yung mga pagkain na yan. However, kapag surimi po at the seafood, tama po ba? No? Mula po yan sa mga pollocks, mula sa mga Pacific whitings po natin. No? According nga sa isang Oregon State University study nila, sabi nila, no? Not the Surimi is made no, by turning the ingredients into gel-like product. A gel-like product. No? Ah. So, ayan po yun. And then, surimi is used to substitute a real lobster, a real, cra a real crabs. Sabi nga doon. However, the question is does it, does it talk about real crabs. The question talks about what happens, what process. Anong ginawa ng mga scales, connected tissues, 
no? Na nakukuha mula sa process, they are used in or they are strained. Straining po yun. Hindi po siya steaming. No, hindi po siya steaming, sir. No? Okay? Hindi po yan steaming. Kasi ito, oh. Removed po. No? <laughs> Ay, diba? Oh, removed. Removed, therefore, that is strain. Diba, no? Bakit may nag-steaming dito? Bakit ang dami nag-steaming? No? Hey, and the question po is not about the process on how to cook sarimi o surimi. No? The question, dami nag-remove. <laughs> No? Oh. The question is not about how to cook sari surimi. The question is all about the process in removing the parts after making a surimi. No? Oh. The answer there is straining. Hindi po siya steaming. No? Okay? Hindi po siya method of cooking surimi. <laughs> Nabudol kayo, ano? No? Nag nabudul kayo ano? Next 29. The process involves placing the fish in a freshest possible condition into the can. Ito oh, removal of air by heat treatment. Pa, sir, kapag removing the air of heat treatment tas nakakan pa yan, sir, walang iba kundi canning po yan. Yan na po yung canning. Ha? Canning po yan. Okay? Ano po yung tinabal? Tinabal teachers, ito po yung tinatawag nating ano, no fermented fish. Oh, di ba? Fermented fish po 'yun. However, it does not involve canning. Of course, surimi, ito po yung processed fish product. At kapag smoking naman, it's preserving fish through smokes. Yan lang talaga po, basic. 30. Blank of the data must ensure ensure when all the information regarding product and process are being collected. What's the answer here? Diba? Uh, what's the answer here? No? Of the data, blank of the data must ensure when all the information regarding product and process has been collected. Uy, has been collected. I-arrange yan. I-arrange nyo yan. Ano po ba yung gagawin nyo after nyo na-collect ang data? What will you do after ma-collect ang data? Again, what will you do after ma-collect ang data? Are you going to encode it? Sa research ba may encoding kayo doon? No? Ha? Di ba? You, you, you talk about data collection kasi. No? Kapag data collection in research teachers... Yung encoding is already a part of the game. Hindi na po siya kailangan kasi si storage at saka si encoding, hindi na po siya binibigyan ng bigat ng ating research. Tama po. No? Once andun na talaga yung data po ninyo, you are going to analyze. Process analysis. After pag mag-analyze, you do the discussion. No? After discussion, you do the recommendation. Ayun. No? Hindi na po kailangan ng storage, hindi na po kailangan ng encoding given na kasi ang dalawang to. Okay? The answer there is letter A. 31. Sir, blank and recording are data key to elements of HACCP system. Pa, ano nga pala yung HACCP system natin, sir? Teachers, when we talk about HACCP system, that involves, uy, ah, bigyan natin ng kahulugan ng HACCP. That is hazard analysis and critical control points. Again, hazard analysis and critical control points. What do you mean by that one? Ano po ba yung kahulugan niya? No? Kapag HACCP teachers, no? systematic approach po yan. No? Sa ang industriya, sir? Sa food industry. Ano po yung ginagawa niya, sir? Mag-identify, mag-evaluate, at mag-control ng food safety hazards. Sila po yung hazard analysis and critical control points po natin. At may iba't ibang aspeto po yan. May iba't ibang aspeto po yan. No? Evaluating, arranging, monitoring, and reproducing. However, 
No? However, when we talk about when we talk about reproduce, no, it does not literally go or fit in with hazard analysis. No, reproduce would somehow implicate about um, ano, no? um generating the same data. If we're going to talk about HACCP system, no, reproduction is generating the same data. Kapag evaluating ito po yung subsequent step to follow para po magkakaroon ka ng monitoring and recording. Therefore, the answer here is never an evaluating part. Never na rin siya nagiging reproducing part. In between the two, sino kaya ang tama sa kanila? Is it arranging or is it monitoring? No? Teachers, this is, an, this is a type of question na kinakailangan mong magkakaroon ng connectivity sa word na end. Uh, di ba? To unlock this one, you are going to monitor. Monitoring and recording of data are key elements of the HACCP system. Number 32. Blank includes processes such as screening, flow equalization, sedimentation, while secondary processes includes dissolved air flotation and the range of biological treatment po yun, di ba? With a high level of purification. Ito po yun, sir, oh. We compare, it is being compared to, uh, ano po yun dito, sir? Secondary process. Meaning to say, this one could either be a primary process. No? Di ba? Kasi this is a statement of comparison, eh. This is a statement comparing two things, comparing what happened first before the second thing happened. Okay? This is all about, sir, meron po ba dito, sir, na tinatawag na ano? Do we find here anything that's called as primary? Walang primary po dito. Pero ano yung katumbas na word ng primary dito? Sige, what is the equivalent word for primary here? The equivalent word for primary here is preliminary preliminary dami na kasagot no dami na kasagot ngayon dito preliminary statement po ito no the process di ba screening nauna yan tas sedimentation yung flow equalization po natin no sila po yun okay screening ito po yung sa ating tinatawag na uh, di ba biological treatment no next po tayo sa Question 33. Blank is a preventive strategy that is standardizing and formalizing to control all factors affecting safety and quality of food. Dito pa lang, sir, wala na. Cut mo na yung question dahil alam mo na yung sagot. The safety and quality of food is measured under hazard analysis and critical control points. The answer is letter C. Again, the answer is letter C. Question number 34. Question 34 talks about smoking process in which the smoke particle acquires electrical charge. No? Usually, teachers, ito po yung tinatawag nating. Oh, no? Ano kaya yan, sir? Meron kaya yan, sir? No? Oh. Okay. Ano kaya yung tawag yan, sir? No? When there is no when there is a smoke particle acquires an electrical charge no by passing through a high voltage field. Ito kaya yung mga smoke detectors natin sir. Are these are what do we call a smoke detectors po natin? Ha? Huh? No? The smoke particles are charged actually, not typically positive as they pass through the high voltage. No? So the charged smoke po dyan, no adheres efficient surface of the food being smoked po yun, no oh smoking process ha smoking process okay anong tawag natin dito is it electrostatic cold smoking ha smoke or liquid smoking <laughs> ano po dito sir eto oh high voltage field kapag high voltage field you answer electrostatic smoking Bakit po, sir? Because the smoke contains charged particles. Oh, no? Ito po yan. And making this one, the process is more efficient. Okay? Oh, that's the process is more efficient on this one compared to other processes. Next, question number 34. 
Sir, comprises a wide range of materials that can be molded, casted, or extruded, or even laminated into various shapes. Again, ha? pwede siyang ma-mold, pwede siyang ma-cast, pwede siyang ma-extrude, pwede po siyang ma-laminate. You eliminate steel. Okay? Okay, bakit hindi po siya, sir? Because made from petroleum or natural gas and coal. Eliminate wood. But the thing here is rubber and plastics. However, when we talk about rubber, it can be molded with different shape. However, it is not made from petroleum or natural gas. The answer here is plastic only. The answer here is plastic. Number 36. Bacteria that thrives, namumuhay, nakatira, best at low temperature. Best low temperature, they are not facultative. Because kapag facultative bacteria teachers, they adapt the range of condition. Pwede sila sa maginaw, pwede din sila sa mainit. Facultative bacteria po yan. Kapag thermophilic, they enjoy na mga maiinit na mga lugar. That is called thermophilic bacteria. No? So kapag mesophilic, ito po yung mga bacteria na nakatira in a moderate temperature. The answer here is psychrophilic. Again, the answer here is psychrophilic. Ito po yung bacteria that lives at a low temperature. Psychrophilic. Ayan, the answer there is letter C. Ay, bakit, mag, ma, bakit nag may thermophilic? Di ba thermo, heat? You are asking for low temperature here, not high temperature. Meso is middle. Psychrophilic is low temperature. Ah, di ba? Ito po yung cold environments. No? Cold environment. 37. 37 results in the weakening, softening, and discoloration of fish tissues. Teachers, kapag discoloration of fish tissues, alam ko na yung sagot dito. Hindi po yan degeneration. Bakit? Kapag degeneration kasi, ito po yung declining of the quality. Di ba? Degenerate, declining of the quality. That is degeneration. When you talk about decomposition, ito po yung pagkawala. No? Technically speaking, uh, technically speaking, kapag decomposition, sa po yung tinatawag natin breakdown of organic matter. Again, decomposition, the breakdown of organic matter. At kapag glycolysis mag-usapan, ito po yung glucose into energy. Again, glycolysis, the transformation of glucose into energy. However, the answer here is autolysis. Kapag autolysis, ito po yung self-digestions. No? Kinakain niya ang sarili niyang tissue. Kaya ang nangyayari, nagkakaroon ng weakening, ng softening, and discoloration of enzymes. Ito yung autolysis. Okay? The answer is autolysis. Hi, salamat. Letter B na talaga, sir. Di ba? Letter B na talaga, sir. Uh, sunod, question number 38. Essential amino acid, pak, amino acid protein yan. Di ba? Present in fish, but are lacking in cereal and root crop-based diet. When you talk about cereal and root crop-based diet, they are all about plant-based diet. Di ba? Plant-based diet po yun. Now, alin dyan ang lacking, no? Essential amino acid present in fish but are lacking in cereal and root crop based diet are is? etong dalawa, si lysine at saka si methionine. Sino po si lysine, sir? Si lysine is, no? Si lysine is an amino acid. Lacking po siya sa cereal kapag cereal lang po ang kinakain mo. Methionine is an amino acid, lacking po yan sa iyong diet kapag si root crop base lang ang kinakain mo. At yung dalawang yan ay mahalaga sa buhay mo. Kaya isagot mo dyan ay hindi si letter A or letter C, kundi si letter D. Ang dalawang yan. Number 39. The temperature degree zone for potentially hazardous food. Ito o, oh, potentially hazardous food. Anong temperatura daw masaya ang mga bakterya? Di ba? Anong temperatura daw masaya ang mga bakterya? No? The answer there is tandaan niyo yan teachers, no? Ah, no? Anong temperatura daw masaya ang mga bakterya? 
di ba sabi natin doon, kapag it goes beyond or below 5 degrees Celsius, hindi na makapag-reproduce bacteria. And if it goes beyond 70 degrees Celsius, hindi na rin makapag-reduce si bacteria, makapag-produce si bacteria. Therefore, bacteria becomes inactive of food. Kaya nga kapag may mga pagkain tayo, inilalagay natin sa ref natin, hindi yan madaling mapanis. Bakit? They are in cold temperature. Bacteria cannot go there. No? At kapag bagong bagong ano, tapos sinayang yung pagkain sa mesa, la, la, sa mesa natin, tapos inuulam natin pagka umaga, we need to preheat or we need to Reheat, I mean, the food because bacteria cannot multiply sa ganitong temperatura. The answer is letter D. It's 4.4 degrees to 60 degrees centigrade. Question number 40. It is used for dividing lines or distances into number of equal parts. Uy, ito, used in number of equal parts and transferring measurements. Again, used in dividing lines or distances into number of equal parts and transferring measurements. Anong sagot dito? What's the answer here? Anong sagot dito, teachers? No? Hindi po siya pwede maging compass. Bakit? Si compass is used to draw circles. Tama po ba? Compass, draw circle, draw arc. Yun po yung trabaho ng compass po natin. Sir, si triangular scale, hindi po yan. Bakit po, sir? It, triangular scale is used to, ano po yan siya, sir? No? For scaling and dimensioning. That is triangular scaling. Si French curve, hindi po yung ginagamit natin in the dividing lines. Bakit? Si French curve is drawing a smooth curve edges po yan. The answer is divider. Number 40, 41. Sir, Kapag it is known as the uppermost horizontal guideline drawn from uppercase letters and strokes of letters that extends upward, anong tawag sa kanila? No? It is known as an uppermost horizontal guideline from uppercase letters and strokes of letters that extends up. If we are going to understand this question, ganito daw yun. Oh, di ba? Ano daw yung pinakatawag, pinaka, pinak ang tawag sa pinakamataas na parte? Dito, that is called, Hoy, hindi po yan baseline ha, kasi baseline is kung saan nakaupo ang mga letters. Inuulit ko po kung saan nakaupo ang mga letters, siya po yung baseline, ito po yung baseline po natin dyan. Ascenders, descenders, waistline. Kapag waistline, kung saan po nakaupo ng kalahat yung mga letters po natin. They are called ascenders. Number 42. The pin configuration of a transistor is determined by, tatanan po natin teachers na ang pin po natin ng PL, transistor is meron din dalawa, the PNP and the NPN. Now, the tendency is, hold on, let me charge my laptop, ha? one minute. All right, I'm back. I'm back, no? The pin configuration of a transistor is determined by ano daw? Kita niyo yung pangalan dito. That's BC547. B011. It is what do we call as the package type. Okay? Siya po yung tinatawag nating package type. Teachers, hindi po siya polarity. No? Oh, bakit hindi po siya polarity, sir? Simply because hindi po lahat, no? Hindi po lahat 'yan na determine ng polarity po natin. However, you should always base on the package type po diyan kung ano po yung nakasulat natin sa ating transistor. Again, we are talking about the pin configuration. Okay? Of course, again ha, while the polarity, the PNP or the NPN for bipolar um, transistor, mahalaga po 'yan siya, no? How the transistor function. Pero hindi po talaga siya directly determining or referring to pin configuration. No? 
The pin configuration here, it talks about the package type. Bakit pin type po, sir? Kasi po, you're going to search all about is the physical form factor. Hindi po lahat pareho yung forma. Minsan transistor may mga half round. Minsan may mga square. Minsan may mga ganun mga bagay na yun. The answer there is a number 42. It should be the package type, not polarity. Dami nagkakamali dito. No? Dami nagkakamali dito. Bakit, sir? Kasi kapag transistor, polarity yun eh. Polarity kasi yun, sir eh. NP, NP, NP yun. Pero we're talking about the pin configurations. Sila po yung natin package type po yun. Okay? Next, number 42, 43. A U-shaped pipe filled with water. Uy, U-shaped pipe filled with water. Anong sagot dito? Trap. Trap po yun eh. Di ba? No? A U-shaped pipe filled with water. The answer there is trap. Pero walang trap dyan, sir. Kasi normally, we have the P-trap and we have the S-trap. Diba? S-trap, P-trap, kadalasan po yun. No? However, in general context, trap po ang tawag natin doon. Trap. Pero walang trap dyan. Merong air trap. Kasi nga naman, yung tinatrap ng, mga, ng P-trap at saka S-trap is the black backflow of air going back into our sink. Sila po yung air trap po dyan. Number 44. Sir, this is a strong, lightweight cord used to make straight line. Uy, straight line. Huwag nyo gagamitan ng ruler. Huwag nyo gagamitan ng meter stick between two widely separated points. Ano po yun, sir? As to snap a straight line, pull the cord straight up from the center and release it in order to spring back into its place. Eto po yun. Anong tawag dito, sir? No? What do you call this one? The string attached to create a straight line is what we call as chalk line. Okay? Chalk line. Kapag blurred po, no? Kapag blurred po, you may transfer it to your ano, no, to your um uh, uh, configuration po ng inyong video. Yeah? The answer there is o oh, pitik sa Bisaya, di ba? Pitik. No? Ayan, the answer there is chalk line. Number 45. The most critical aspect in stair design is the relationship between the rise diba, and the riser. Mahalaga daw anong tawag dito. No? The rise and the riser. No? The rise and the run. I mean the rise and the run. The rise and the run. Anong tawag daw dyan? Is what do we call as this one? Ang tawag nito. The answer here is forty-five. What's the answer for forty-five? Eliminate thread because it is where you step on. Tama po ba? Eliminate flat because flat is term used to describe the horizontal surface. Merong slope, merong diagonal, which is correct term to be used in the stair. Is it the diagonal or is it the slope? Very good. Do not use diagonal. You use the word slope. Okay, number forty-six. This material acts as a plasticizing agent, providing smoothness and workability. It also increases the water holding capacity of mortar. Sir, the holding capacity of mortar is termed as? Goy. No? Sir, kapag saan ba, sir, mag-hold po yan ng water holding capacity? Hindi po yun. No? Si cement ba, sir? Of course, cement will hold. No? However, it does not act no? as plasticizing agent. Hindi na po si cement, hindi na po si sen. Alin kaya dito yung tamang sagot? No? Again, si admixtures, pwede po sila magiging isang property like workability. Pero hindi po sila mag-hold ng water mixture. The answer there is lime. Number 46, the answer is lime. No? Lime po yung sagot dyan. No? Next. Number 47, this can be made of steel, precast, reinforced concrete beams or wood that placed above the windows and doors to carry the weight of the wall above them. Anong tawag dyan? No? Eto daw, sir. Kapag dito daw, sir. Sabihin ta na po namin, sir. Anong tawag dito, sir? No? Anong tawag dito, sir? 
Ito yun, no? They are called they are called lintels. Again, they are called lintels. The answer there is lintels. Okay? Question number 48. Stripping off the outer covering of the food. Again, stripping off the outer covering of the food. Ang tawag sa kanila. No? When you strip off the outer covering of the food, sila po yung tinatawag nating peeling. Okay? Sila po yung tinatawag nating peeling. Now, number 49. What quality pushes electron to move? Mag-push is the voltage. Ang mag-flow is the current. Ang mag-opposite or ang mag-stop, uh, mag, uh, no? mag-control sa flow is the nating resistance. Therefore, what pushes the electrons to move is voltage. Hanapin yung voltage dyan, siya po yung tamang sagot. No? The quality that pushes electrons to move, the answer is voltage. Next, number 15. The practice of adding baking soda when cooking vegetable for the purpose of retaining its green color is not advisable because of... Bakit nga ba sir hindi pwedeng ilagay yung baking soda natin? Sir, sa mga green color vegetables po natin. No? Bakit sir? Kasi po, baking soda is acidic by nature. Ano? I mean, I mean ano? Uh, baking soda is um alkalinic by nature, basic by nature. Since basic siya, ang nangyayari is sisirain niya si vitamin C, which is acidic by nature. Diba? Therefore, the answer here is letter D. Okay. The answer there is letter D. Teachers, are you ready for the second round? Okay. Are you ready for the second round? Ah. The second round goes like this. You were only left with two choices. The only thing that you're going to do is to choose one choice among the other. Okay? You are going to choose one choice among the other. All right. Okay? Ready na sir? Ready na sir? No? Sige. Let's have a break first. Let's get back 9 p.m. I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna open up another YouTube. No, I'm gonna open up another YouTube video for this session. Sa second round po natin, ha? Okay, sir. Kahit mahirap ang mga tanong mo, laban pa rin, di ba? Okay, we are going to end the video this one and then we'll get back 9 p.m. for the second round. Okay, sigi po.